scored. That's it. Lined up for the 208th derby. Under orders, and they're away in a pretty level break, too. We threw the first furlong up on the very wide outside. Al Wasp is showing very good pace. A little bit slowly away was Sajid, and that's three or four lengths. Dropped off the pace, and now reference point has come through to take it up. And it's reference point and legal bid, and water boatman chased up on the inside. Tracked by Sir Harry Lewis. That's on the right of the picture. On the extreme right is uh, Love the Groom. The French waiter Sajid is some way adrift and they go up the hill on the far side of the track and it's water boatman just disputing it with reference point in second out was beyond the wide outside then just in behind these comes ascot knight nibbon bay and legal bid is handy and angara abyss is handy and love the groom is handy and uh, water boatman was uh, on the outside just checking love the groom and sir harry lewis there but the favorite has it as they head with a mile to go it's reference point in the lead reference point showing the way to ibn bay then comes ascot knight on the outside and then legal bid then Ajdal with uh, just in behind these comes water boatman Sajid is still some little way adrift and the other French raider is mid division as they begin the descent now to Tattenham Corner and they've got seven furlongs left to go reference point has it from Ibn Bay in second then Ascot Knight on the outside and then legal bid and water boatman then Adj Dallam most welcome the horse of the nose band on the outside of the pack behind these comes Sir Harry Lewis and love the groom then Percy Fleur and Gulf King entitled mid division and they're well past halfway and Sajid is still well in arrears five to go the favorite reference point out in front from Ascot Knight in second and most welcome third and Ibn Bay four and legal bid looks for room and Bellotto looks for room at the rear of the field and they begin the descent to Tatton Corner and it's reference point in the lead reference point and Steve Cawthon out in the lead from Ascot Knight second then in third is most welcome and Ibn Bay then Ajdal next to the rails legal big comes on the run Sir Harry Lewis comes to the run Bellotto tries to make ground on the left of the picture Sadid starts to pick up ground also looking for room is Groom Dancer I think just over two furlongs to go and reference point has it from Ascot Knight then comes most welcome and Sir Harry Lewis Bellotto makes good ground on the outside and title coming with the run they got a furlong and a half to go and the favorite has it but only just as most welcome throws out a big challenge reference point of the yellow most welcome with the nose band Bellotto starts to pick up ground in the white sleeves but reference point holds on reference point when he battles most welcome second Bellotto is third he has to be straight down close home but the favorite wins reference point of photo for second most welcome and Bellotto then came to Harry Lewis entitled in Mountain Kingdom then Sadid and Groom Dancer disappointing runs then Ajdal and Percy Fleur, and behind his Ascot Knight, Love the Groom, live in Ibn Bay. Then Gulf King, and the back marker last of all was Romantic Prince. And so on the 6 to 4 favourite, Steve Cawthon has won his second derby on number 16 reference point, owned by Mr. Lewis Friedman, bred by him at the Cliveden Stud, ridden by Steve Cawthon, Steve's second derby winner. And this one trained as his first one was by Henry Cecil at Newmarket and ridden by Steve in similar front-running fashion. Officially, it's a photo for second place between number 13, which is most welcome, ridden by Paul Eddery, and number five, Bellotto, ridden by his brother, Pat. They're in a photo for second and third, but the winner has been posted. It's number 16, reference point, and he's won the ever-ready derby, and he's done it in the style that he had to do it in by making all the running. This is a tremendous performance. He was a very, very short price favorite at six to four, but he's justified that market position. He's justified Steve Cawthon's confidence, and Steve Cawthon got it right. He could have chosen between him and legal bid. He did do, he got it right. He's in front as he came round Tattenham Corner. The challengers came thick in France, fast, none from France, and Steve Cawthon repelled all raiders. What an absolutely gallant performance this has been by reference point because there was a moment, I must say, a furlong out when I thought he was going to get caught. Uh, most welcome, there are two off the rails in the white nose band is the one who makes the most desperate challenge in the end. But Ascot Knight and most welcome 
are both challenging with legal bid on the outside sir harry lewis in the lighter colors reference point really only has just about a neck in front maybe half a length joe i thought he might still get caught he was a very good yeah, right. performance i thought he might get caught too but he stuck to his goals didn't he when steve watch Arson. pat Edry on the outside now in the dancing brave colors not coming from as far behind as dancing brave did but nevertheless staging what looks a very dangerous challenge on Bellotto. most welcome might almost have got his head in front of uh, reference point there but steve corson hasn't really asked the favorite for everything yet now when he does reference point shows his courage and his speed because from here on in he increases his lead just look he wins going away Bellotto challenging most welcome for second place but the favorites won the most gallant victory and sir harry lewis appears to be fourth well steve corson coming back to a victory not nearly as easy as his previous derby on slip anchor he was never able to get away from this field joe i suppose i suppose they were never going to let him well, he would never let him i mean when he went on slip anchor he slipped the field actually but today the jockey's on this is an out and out staying horse loves to be in front they're not going to give him any start but i thought he was a really gutsy performance of this horse most welcome uh, is definitely called second uh, and uh, I don't know whether they've called Bellotto third yet, but I should be very surprised if he wasn't. But Steve with the broadest grin in England, between here and California. The distances were one and a half lengths and a short head, and reference point isn't quite used to this round of applause, but he'll get it now. So Steve Cawthon dismounts off what is his, for reference, 45th winner of the season. He won by a length and a half, a short head, separating second and third. And what a triumph for owner Lewis Friedman, who bred this horse. Most reference, 6 to 4. Reference point, I should say, 6 to 4. Most welcome, 33 to 1. And Bellotto third at 11 to 1. If you think his winning odds of 6 to 4 were very thin, think on this. Stud groom Derek Powley backed the horse at 500 to 1 a year ago last May.